In this video, we're going to go over the five Shopify email marketing apps. We're going to start with the lowest bar of entry. If you make the least amount per month, let's say a thousand dollars, or you're just starting out all the way to our Shopify plus clients that are listening in that make over a million dollars a month. We're going to cover all of them. You're going to be an expert when it comes to Shopify email marketing apps. But first, there's no point to teach you which are the best fishing rods. If you have no clue how to fish, there is two links down below that I think are the best courses when it comes to email marketing on the internet. First link down below is going to be Chase's link. Chase Demons is the absolute expert when it comes to email marketing. You can find them everywhere on the web. Some of my top Shopify plus stores actually work with them, making over a million dollars a month, partially thanks to Chase. So this course is like four hours and it's going to teach you absolutely everything you need to know about email marketing and how you can get the most bang for your buck. Second link down below is Ezra Firestone. He's one of the king of email marketings and marketings in general. This guy is fantastic. Definitely check him out as well. Again, as of this recording, zero affiliation with either of them, but I will certainly be reaching out to them because they're fantastic. And frankly, they're really the only two people I would trust in giving me advice when it comes to email marketing. So I hope this helps you as well. All right, let's go to the first app when we talk about Shopify and email marketing, and it's obviously Shopify email marketing app. You know, the basic app from Shopify. Some of the main advantages of this app is that it's really easy to use because it's the same design, it's all very intuitive, and it's right there. So the learning curve is really, really low. And trust me, that is important when it comes to email marketing. Some of their downsides is that their email templates, you know, they're a bit basic. There is a blank one that you can create your own like this. You know, it's fine. And you're also not able to create any automation. So welcome flows or after someone bought something or something like that. You can't really segment or automate. And what you can do, however, is you can set up different groups in your email list saying everyone that spends more than $500 on my store, send them that email. And everyone that spent less than $500, put them in this group and send them that email. You can do that. It is manual, which I guess for a starting app for email marketing to kind of dimple your toes in the water, that's even a thing. It makes a lot of sense. Like again, low learning curve, really easy. And this entire low learning curve thing is really important. I'm going to get back to that later. The first 2,500 emails are free. And then it's, I think, $1 per thousand emails. So for the cost, you know, if you're really starting out, you have no idea. You just have the basic from the course that I mentioned earlier, and you want to dip your toes into the water. This one is the one for you. After that, we have Seguno. Now Seguno is nice because you're not really sure where the app starts and Shopify ends or Shopify ends and the app starts. The UI is really really smooth it makes a lot of sense and that's a really good thing now yes it's not as powerful as some of the top tiers we'll talk about a bit later but again that's okay because as a beginner you don't want that learning curve to be too high because you will get discouraged real quick and you will drop this magical marketing channel contrary to shopify these guys do have automation so you make you want to make sure you set those up again it's going to take you a little bit more time to get into this app because of all the setup of the automation etc etc but you know if you're already convinced on how how Shopify or email marketing in general works, then that's fantastic. You know that that's an investment of your time that's going to pay off. Pricing wise, you're going to be free at 250 contacts, which might sound like, oh, plenty of space, but you'll get there quicker than you would probably want. And after that, it's about $10 per thousand contacts, I believe. So it's, it's relatively affordable considering you're sending out not per email, you're not paying per email, you're paying per content. Well, some of the people might wonder what are the limitations of Seguno? Well, you can do things like A-B testing, which if you get more into it becomes really important. You can add your own HTML CSS to your emails. You don't really have very good real-time reporting, but all of those things kind of come with you being a bigger veteran in the email marketing space. And so in the beginning, you really don't need to mind all of those things too much because it's going to be too much information. It's going to clutter you mind. It's going to slow you down and you're going to, like I said, end up abandoning email marketing. All right, let's pull up our chart here. The absolute beginner is going to start with Shopify email. Um, the level above that is Seguno, and then the next one we're going to talk about. Okay, and that would be uh, the name Email Marketing plus Sales Pop-Up by Aftership and Automizely. They really keep it simple, these guys. They actually do. Okay, so this is one of those apps where you get 30 plus apps in one app. There is a lot of advantages to that, and their email marketing app is actually quite good. So you definitely want to consider this 
if you are the opposite of me and when you tell yourself something like oh you know i need social proof there is an app for that in this one app in the suite of 30 apps you can do that and then it's going to perfectly integrate with your email marketing the thing is that you need to have some time to set all of that up so if you're the person that's being like okay i'm gonna learn those 30 different apps and I'm going to apply them and make them all work together. And I'm willing to invest the time for it in the next week to really understand it and set it up correctly. Then this is the perfect app for you. If you're like me and you're like, wow, that sounds great. I want to have 30 apps in one and I install it, but I never really use it. And I never, because I don't can't get the hang of it. And I only use like five of those apps. And then at the end of the day, you know, I should have probably gone with one app that does one thing really, really well instead of all of the apps together, if you know what I mean. Bottom line, if you're disciplined and you want things like instant search bars, social proof, exit intent pop-ups, just general pop-ups, countdown timers, have I mentioned countdown timers? And you have the bandwidth or you have someone on your team that can figure all of this out and can make it all work, then this app is perfect for you because you end up going to pay only one app with all of these different features that perfectly tie into each other and are going to make your email marketing better. All right, now we're getting more to the pros right here at this level because we've seen all the rest. And for the pros, we're going to have to look at Omnisend. Omnisend has like what you need, what you expect in a sophisticated email marketing system. And it does actually way more than just email marketing. First of all, it covers a bunch of channels. I'm going to have to pull my list here, but email, SMS, Facebook custom audiences, Google customer, Match, web post notifications, Facebook, Messenger, and WhatsApp can all be done under this. Out of that list, I definitely remember the SMS uh, marketing, which is a huge moneymaker for a lot of stores, and of course, the email marketing. You can put flows, you can make it as complicated as you want, you can put triggers and segments and really everything you can possibly imagine you wanting out of this type of app. The main advantage of having all of this in one hub is Let's say I've been in situations where a brand sent me a text message of a 10% off discount and five minutes later I got a web push notification of a 25% discount. That happens when big teams don't really talk to each other and it's kind of all over the place and in different apps. Well, the advantages with Omnisend you don't have that problem because it's all nicely centralized and it's usually one team or person that kind of takes care of everything. So then you definitely want Omnisend. When it comes for bang for your buck, Omnisend again is probably the best option. At 15,000 emails per month or 2,000 emails per day for free, that's pretty hard to beat. So after that, you're going to have to upgrade. I think it's about $16 for the next level, which is still very fair considering the power of the Omnisend. Now you might wonder, Andrew, why would I choose Omnisend instead of the next one who is going to be Clavio? Well, Omnisend is really, my opinion, more of a one-stop shop for like if you have one person doing SMS and Facebook and WhatsApp and all of those things. And the segmentation is not as pushed as our next example, Clavio. Overall, it's, it's just a little bit more of a basic app compared to our next one which is, I guess, at the top of the pyramid, but is it really maybe at the same level as, as Omnisend? Okay, Clavio. We all heard about Clavio. I think Clavio, let's see here, $3.7 billion they created in revenue for their users last year. That is insane. They are huge, huge. Target, you can target, you can optimize, you can monitor, you have extremely specified data. You have 360 degree customer profiles drag and drop email design you can put in your own html css you they have their own site tracking um, roi based reporting segmentations triggers every little thing that you can imagine that has to do with email marketing Clavio has this did i mention a b testing and not just a b testing like the title but a b testing the entire email including the call to action buttons or just parts of the email like it's it's insane they have everything and here's the catch they're gonna tell you that it's 100 percent free up to 250 subscribers or contacts on your list which is true it's 100 percent true but the catch comes in two two folds if you want Reason number one, it's that it goes up really quickly. So you're going to be spending a significant 
you know, amount on your email marketing if you're just set, selling for $2,000 a month and you're using Klaviyo because you're probably going to have a lot of subscribers and it's going to cost you money. That's what it comes down to. But for all you're getting, you might be telling me that's fine, Andrew. And that is 100% true. If you're an expert and you're in a big team, you use Klaviyo, hands down. But if you're starting out, I've seen a lot of beginning store owners you know, being like, I want to do email marketing. I follow the courses. I get it. Let's do it. They install Klaviyo and it has so many bells and whistles. The learning curve is significant that they kind of panic out and they end up using way less features than they would have if they would have used, for example, Seguno. This is something you want to slowly ease into for most people, except if you're like, okay, I'm just going to sit down and learn the entire thing for the next two weeks and cram it all in my head and do nothing else. Fine. Klaviyo is 100% your tool. Though. But if you're like, ah, I kind of have to work and you'll maybe have to go to the factory next week and uh, uh, take a vacation and some customer service issues, then don't just jump into Klaviyo. It's not a very... It is intuitive, but it's not, you're not doing yourself any favors if you're jumping into this knowing nothing of email marketing. Their paid plan starts at $20 a month, like I said, once you pass those 250 customers. And I think it's pretty much the most complete email marketing tool out there. So now I hope you know how to fish. You know, I hope you, you want to check those out. I know, hope you know what best tools you would use to fish. I hope to see you soon for another video of everything that is Shopify related. Make sure to like and subscribe. Adios.